What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Carmen boyfriend Boogie still living with his ex-girlfriend, FOE show for Flo. Let's get it. So congratulations to Flo and Karina. They did announce the birth of their baby girl. Now, a lot of people were shocked to see Loaded was at Flo's house and he was at the hospital with them as well while Karina was giving birth. He did make a statement and said, a beautiful thing to witness. I can't thank y'all enough for the experience today. Then he tags Flo and Karina. So again, congratulations to Flo and Karina. Flo seems like he's- Congrats to them for sure. He do seem like he's very much so happy going to be a very great and present father now, the rest of foe also left comments underneath that post <laughs> jazz states proud of you came a long way just know through every storm i'll always love you jordan states congratulations bro bro you got this and amar and jay long congratulated them as well jazz and Flo also refollowed each other a couple days ago so if you guys didn't know foe mm -hmm. and Flo are back cool not sure cool. if we're going to be getting any content between them but i'm sure we will but let's move on to this next topic with Carmen Big Boogie and Big Boogie's ex-girlfriend. Now you guys know from recent videos, people were linking Big Boogie to this girl that's been attending his shows and also sent videos. My people fault. were linking Big Boogie to this girl that's been attending his shows and also has old photos with him on her page. Mm -hmm. Now this is allegedly an ex-girlfriend of his. Now I spoke him on her and Big Boogie to this girl that's been, a now you guys oh, show yeah. ex-girlfriend of his. Now I spoke about this last time and I stated people were saying that this was his list in girlfriend obviously it appears that they are not together anymore because he's now popping out with carmen but she still attends some of his shows and they still appear to be cool well she posted a photo on facebook a few days ago and stated tell me i'm the type you're gonna slide behind now the background on these photos had people wondering is she still living with boogie because he too posts photos with that same background as you can see it's definitely the same spot now i'm assuming that this is boogie's house because he also posted up photos with his daughter there brushing her teeth so i don't know you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comments that's the same now i'm assuming that this is boogie's house because he also, um... also posted up photos with his daughter there brushing her teeth so i don't know you guys leave i don't i don't know why any woman would be surprised that her rapper boyfriend is cheating on her to be honest with y'all i don't i don't understand the whole like this is when I kind of agree agree with the um, Delulu <laughs> statements, but um, <clears throat> I don't think Carmen mind y'all. I ain't gonna lie, I don't think she mind at all. Actually, your opinions on that down in the comment section below. Do you guys think she's still living at his house? Now, Boogie did do an interview a couple weeks ago where he stated in that interview that even the women that he was dealing with in the past, it may take him a while before he can cut them completely off. The female wants you to be loyal to them, honest with them, and all this. Mm -hmm. Okay, if I had them bitches before I met you, it's gonna take time for me to cut them off. That's true. You wanna know why? Because that was the type of life I was living, that was the type of time and I was on. And every female that I dealt with, they knew it. Mm -hmm. See? At least he honest though. Shit, I, I'd rather, ladies, <clears throat> wouldn't you rather a nigga be honest with you than lie? Like, give me the option. If he give you the option, I guarantee a lot of women will go with, go with it. You know I was dealing with this female. You knew I was dealing with this female. You knew I was dealing with this female. Why you still here? Okay, but do you think that because they think they can change you? No. Answer me though. Okay. Why are you still here? In my opinion, I, I think women sometimes stay with niggas based on their potential rather than what it really is. So then when shit do go down, it's kind of like disappointing them because they had something different in their head that they potentially thought you was going to come out of That gives me room to do me man. too. You know what so, told me? <clears throat> the thing I don't like about men is that they want you to have that option so you know that they're doing them, but they don't want you to do you. And that's the part I can't get with. I just, hell, if I'm going to give you the option, give me the option too. Um, or I'm just going to take my option. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take it. So, you know, men don't like sharing what well, they think is supposed to be theirs, but out here giving out what's supposed to be yours. Just give me the option. If I want to rock with it, I will. If I don't, I don't. But always know I'm going to get me in the process unless you just have a... I feel like if, if a woman can't give you what you want, what you need in the relationship, but she still want to be with you, 
Just go out and do you for a while. I don't believe in that, like... I don't want to have sex right now, but I'm going to just make you wait. You're not going to make me do anything because I'm going to go out and get me some ass. Okay. I don't know about y'all, but I can't, I can't get with that because you would call me selfish for wanting to do so. But I feel like women are selfish to want a, a nigga to wait. Like I have needs. So do you. But you want me to wait and I'm not. So I'm just saying, y'all, it's, it's real out here in the field. You just got to be real with each other. Like, dead ass serious. That's selfish as hell for a lot of y'all women to be like, I don't want to do it. But you you, you figure out your hormones and get your 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 things together. No. If you don't want to do it right now, bet. I'm going to get me some side ass and you figure out yourself out. And when you figure yourself out, then I stop with the side ass. I, I, I asked her. No sexual discipline. So it's a difference between having sexual discipline on your own and having sexual discipline because your partner decided that they wanted to have sexual discipline. If we didn't have a conversation about that in the beginning, there's no such thing. I believe that if it's something that I want, I should get it because I give you everything you want. And let me also include, that ain't going on in my relationship. She give me that ass whenever I, I want it. Okay? So understand, this ain't me. <laughs> I get to the pussy whenever I want. But what I'm saying is, <clears throat> if you have sexual discipline, that's cute. Got you. I love that for you. <laughs> However, that's not how we met, right? We met on an understanding of, I have needs, so do you. You want me to fulfill your needs, I need you to fulfill mine. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That's all. You know what I'm saying? So, bro. Mm -hmm. I see it. Is it? Okay, I did all this, did that, did that, woo woo. Why you still here? Get what she said. Love you, honey, shots. Because I know Put it in my mouth. out there gonna keep it raw like you. Yeah, because you gotta look at it, bro. I don't pay attention to no blogs, no none of this shit. So when <laughs> I seen when I when I seen all the fuckery and all that, yeah. all publicity, good publicity. Hold on, sexual discipline in a relationship is crazy unless y'all both on a journey together. That's all I'm saying. It's no way in hell you decided in the middle of the relationship. Oh, by the way, I don't feel like having sex till next year. Oh, 1222 in the chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I tell you what, <laughs> you have fun with that. Now, I'm going to go ahead out here, go and get me a side piece. You know what I'm saying? And I might have to get what I need to get. And when you decide you want to get back, that's what it is. Buy it. That's what it is. Whether it's in the middle of the relationship, on the side of the relationship, behind the relationship, you decided to do what it is that you wanted to do when you wanted to pause on this good here sex. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to have to do me. You'll be by yourself the next year. Hey, cool. <laughs> Shit, ain't no way in hell. I just, if you meet a person, get them all that in the beginning. Some people... You know you don't be wanting to have sex after two months in a relationship. You know it, and you be you like to play. Oh, I'm freaky. I do whatever you want me to, daddy. All that bullshit. And then come three months later, you don't want to do it no more. And he looking at you like you're crazy because you was just freaking him for the past three months. But you know that. And you know how you been in the last relationship. And you know how you was in the relationship before that. And you know how you was in a relationship before that. That's selfish, ladies. Selfish. And I want y'all to know that. Get that shit together. Just be, ooh, let me suck you in a car. Ooh, let me fuck you in a car. Ooh, let me, let's do it in the car. Just random, just doing it all the time. Driving a nigga crazy. Then 90 days in a relationship. Oh, mm -mm, I don't want to do it. No, I don't think I want to do it tonight. I don't necessarily really like sucking dick no more. I like, wake up the land. You don't get the hell out of here. <laughs> Turn the fuck up there. If you hey, don't get what I'm doing. My black ass sitting in this Lamborghini. High as a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm unbothered, bro. I'm unbothered. Y'all don't know me. I don't know y'all. Fuck y'all. I don't know y'all. Yeah. I don't care about what's going on. I'll oh, boogie fuck with this person. I'll oh, fuck with that person. At the end of the fucking day, what y'all stopping? This my life. Y'all ain't talking about shit. Set wild yeah. stand up. You so can't Chris uphold. Hello. Story time on his TikTok on how he got into it. With Hold on. 
Then step out of nowhere like they lost their pussy in the mall by the food court. <laughs> no. Friend, for real. For real. You be like, uh, can you bring back the girl I met? <laughs> Yo, can you bring back the girl that I met? <laughs> like, yo, oh my God, do you hear me? Excuse me, if you could do me a favor and go pick up that cooch right there on the <laughs> over there by the sombrero. <laughs> ah, pick that cooch up from the sombrero, baby. <clears throat> The pizza spot in the mall, okay, at North Lake. Because you got me fucked up. Go get it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Chris Brown over his ex-girlfriend, Savvy. <laughs> now, he didn't give a name, but obviously, Ew. Savvy is the ex that he's speaking about. Oh, my Bro, God. It's Chris, and I'm back with another video on my soul. Look, I'm about to tell y'all what happened when my ex cheated on me with Chris Brown. Remind you, I never cheated on her. But look, we about to get into the video. Let me turn this camera on. Hold on, on my soul. All right, look, so... Hold on, I gotta wipe this damn camera off. Put this fucker the phone. All right, look, on my soul. Look, so boom. So I was dating this girl, right? It's up to y'all to figure out who I'm talking about. I'm not gonna tell y'all. I was dating this girl, whatever the case may be, and boom, her one of her friends DM me, right? And she said, "Hey." Uh. So I just wanted to see what she wanted, and I said, "What's up?" So uh. she deleted her message, and it made it look like that I DM'd her first. You get what I'm saying? I follow me with a big goofy ass. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's why I don't need to DM females no more. If y'all DM me, I will not respond. But anyways, uh, she put it in her close friends. We got back to my girl. Then boom, she started crying. We out to eat. She just started crying. I'm like, bro, what are you crying for? Like, you look stupid. Like, I didn't say that, but in my head, I was thinking that. She was like, oh, oh, you cheated for me. I'm like, bro, what? I'm like, let me see. She's like, you know what I'm talking about, blah, blah, blah. So she showed me. I'm like, bro, I swear to God, I did not DM her first. I was trying to see what she wanted because she DM me first. She was like, no, nah, look, I'm looking at it. So then boom, she left. So like a day went by. She packed her stuff and left. Remind you, the day before, Chris Brown kept calling her. And oh. boom, she kept saying, you know, he was like, hey, come on tour with me, come on tour with me. And she's like, no, I got a nigga, whoa, whoa. So Chris Brown like, all right, bet. Girl, if, Seppi, if that was you, shame on you, friend. <clears throat> shame on you. Ain't no way in hell, okay? I'm not going on tour with Chris Brown because I'm with Chris Sales. What? <laughs> Excuse me. I just want you to know. This is when you... <clears throat> this is when you just drop out of the <laughs> mid relationship. Listen, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm about to go on tour, Chris. You figure out what it need, you need to do. If you want to go get some good... You handle your business. I'm going to go ahead and we'll rock out with Chris. Either way, they both... <laughs> Either way, they both whoop your ass. So, uh... <clears throat> I just think Chris Brown might be a little better in, in bed. But they both abuse. You know what? Never mind. Chris Brown got more money. You know, Chris Brown, like, okay, it's cool. If you got a nigga, already bet. So when that happened, <laughs> they gave her the green light. The Chris green. Brown you know, got go, more money. Go, go be with him. So anyway, she ended up going out there fine to him. She left me. <laughs> they did what they did. I text her. I called her. Like, the next day. I'm like, yo, what's up? <laughs> Bye. I'm going, baby. You want to go? Or are you saying? <laughs> I'm like, where you at? She's like, I'm out. Uh, whatever she said. So I'm oh, like, my God. Who you with? She got me at this hotel. I'm like, who you with? She's like, nobody. Chris Brown, you know, he's at one of his concerts, but he got me in this hotel. Feel me? I'm like, oh, all right, bet. And I was trying to pretend I want her. The nigga was hurt on my soul. What the fuck you talking about? So then, boom. She was like, my bad for walking around. I'm sorry. I always do this when I do tell stories. My bad, y'all. So then, boom, like, I miss you. Come back home. So she was like, all right, bet. What? I'm like, did y'all, you know, did y'all, you know what? She was like, yeah, we did. But it only lasted a minute. I was like, oh, all right. I'm like, I ain't really considered cheating. Anything under a minute is not considered, you know, cheating to me. So, <laughs> no, I'm just playing. She still cheated. But anyways, so she came back home, and then Chris Brown hit her up, like, yo, where you at? Because obviously, he, after he, you know, did what he did, he went back to the room, she went there. He hit her up, like, yo, where you go? She's like, I went back. And then, boom, he hit her up. He was like, oh, so you talked to Chris Sales? Ooh. She was like, yeah. He was like, oh, all right, bet. Ooh. And then he said some disrespectful stuff. He was like, you still my bitch on the weekends. He can have you on weekdays. Fair. And then me and Bob, me and him got into it because then he was just being disrespectful. So me and him got into it and then he had unfollowed me on IG and then I had unfollowed him. And then boom, that was that though. But that's a little story time for y'all. Yo, 
This nigga over here beefing with Chris. Uh, <laughs> Chris Brown, yeah. Chris sells beefing with Chris Brown, yeah. <clears throat> well, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. That's number one. Number two, do y'all believe it? All right, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.